828 Find Adventure. I got a really cool thing that I keep in each of my vehicles, and that's called a first aid kit. Because uh, for some of us, you know, getting in, into accidents is just a uh, normal everyday thing. But uh, anyways, I wanted to show you this because it attaches really, in a really cool way to your seat. And it's, and it's right there, and uh, you know, so you can uh, grab it real quick and you know whatever help somebody or help yourself if you're bleeding out on the side of the trail and uh, I'm gonna show it to you and uh, show you a few things I put in it so let's go check it out so here we go this is what you get it's a pretty decent sized bag it's made really well looks like it's that really thick Kodora or something like that I think that's what they call it um, zips are open lots of velcro Place inside lots of compartments to put all your stuff. Let me show you this. You see that? All kinds of compartments and elastics and pockets and this flings out and it's kind of a kind of a mesh bag so you can see what's in it. Comes with some patches, a little American flag patch. And this is the patch I leave on there. You know, a couple of things that I always put in it, but okay, before we do that, let me show you the other features of this. So one thing this, this comes with that's really neat is on the back, it has an attachment. It's like, like a mole type thing that, you know, you could put it on a, a vest if you needed to. So, you know, think about that. It would work for that, but it's also Velcro. And this piece right here, you could attach to the headrest of your vehicle. Or of course, any of the mole seat covers and all that stuff, or, you know, if you have one of those, uh, those vast, uh, what, what do they call it? I can't remember what they're called, but anyways, where you put all your ammo, a plate carrier. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, you can also uh, use it for that. But, let me show you this, and I'm gonna show you the way I did this. And it works great in all my vehicles. So let's go check that out. Okay, in the Honda Ridgeline that I have and the Subaru, it attached really easy right here to these, uh, these posts under your headrest. So let me get this headrest up and I'll show you. So you've got those, these right here, you've got these two rings and they fit perfect right there. And I discovered this just by chance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the seat through those two just like that, put it back on there, set it to the, the height that I always have it on, you know, for me. I think it's like about right there. So there you go. So I've got this, this piece hanging off and it's Velcro. You've got this buckle that goes around with a strap right here. So let, let me show you here. So this folds down like this. And this is great because it's always right here for you. Your first aid kit is right there. You can grab it, you can go help somebody, or whatever, patch a little cut on your finger from playing with those fancy knives that the blade plops out, or, you know, or whatever you do, you fall down like me. <laughs> okay, you ready for this? This is magic, y'all. Check it out. Look at that. Inside here, you know, of course, you can have all your stuff. Whatever you need. And then once you get it filled with everything that you want to put in there, this is an adjustable strap. There you go. And it came with these two two uh two patches here you can put those on there put your flag sticker but this one most importantly so people know people in your vehicle know this is where they can get a band-aid that right there sorry i pulled this backing off and there you go Look at that. And this thing will stuff full. It's not going anywhere. 
there's 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 so much they put so much velcro on here it's it's not it's not going anywhere but there you go first aid kit right here on the back of your vehicle it's not going anywhere you know i mean it's got there is a ton of velcro holding that on and uh it's not going anywhere so let me show you what i put in it i'll just show you a few things i'm not going to complete this one out yet but i'm going to show you a few things i put in it so a few things that i put in it that you should always have with you is one a tourniquet you know in case you get some large wound compound fracture you got bones sticking out and uh you know blood going everywhere you need to do that or you're bit by a snake or whatever uh you need to make sure you've got that under control and you know how to use it there are directions you can watch videos on youtube but you need to know how to use this before you use it before you need to know how to use this tourniquet before something happens panicking while you know you've got somebody bleeding all over the place you want to make sure you know how to use this so that's always something that i keep in my first aid kit so let's go ahead add that to it i'm just going to show you a few things and i'm going to put some directions in case i'm the one passed out on the ground bleeding all over the place and somebody needs to use that i have a trauma pack this is quick clot i'll put links to all of this um, under the video in the description if you want to check it out especially this bag here because it's really handy and works great so back to the essentials quick clot you always want to have a quick clot kit this also helps stop bleeding um, you know this bag here comes with a lot of different things some gauze and you know gloves and all of that you can buy the quick clot by itself in little pouches which i have in the other ones but and i'll put links to those as well but you know so that goes in there um because you got to have that um got an emergency thermal blanket in case somebody's you know going into shock that helps keeps their body heat in um a waterproof poncho you can put in there um in my others i keep you know uh a lot of um i keep a pair of scissors uh band-aids of all sizes some um antibiotic ointment uh, uh what do i put this is the uh neosporin i'm sorry that's what i keep i keep neosporin in there in case you get a scrape you don't want to get infected you put a little neosporin on it usually takes care of it keep some mosquito anti-itch stuff uh what else um you know good scissors oh i keep some of that um that tape they use you know if you sprain your ankle it's kind of elastic rubbery tape I wrap that around i keep that in there as well uh, but again most importantly i just wanted to share with you this this bag that i found and how, how awesome it is. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, check out the links, see if you like it. I believe this bag comes in several colors. Uh, you can also get it in red if you want red. Um, it will fit under the seat in your car as well if you don't want to use the Velcro attachment. But this is the handiest place, especially, you know, in the Ridgeline, the back seat's not as big or the Subaru, but it's still is small enough that it doesn't get in people's way when they're a passenger. Oh, here's something else I forgot to put in there. Um, this right here, this is pretty cool. This is a bleed stop for small cuts. So, you know, this is for minor cuts. Um, and you just want to put a little of this on there. It's like a, like a powder type stuff. Uh, similar to what they use um, at the barber. If they nick you with a razor, they put a little stuff on there to stop the bleeding. But anyways, uh, this is just a little stuff. I'll put a link to this as well. It's always good to have one of these in your tackle box or your you know anywhere just you know if your kid falls down and they're bleeding and they're screaming and yelling and complaining take care of it might sting a little at first but they'll get over it so you know this is some good stuff too this is called bleed stop so anyway so i always have one of those in there as well you never know you just don't want to be you don't want to be stuck out there and bleeding and uh you don't want that to ruin your trip or you don't want it to become something major also you know you don't want you don't want your, your the whole you know you're out there having a good time and somebody somebody with you you know falls down uh because they trip over their feet all the time and uh and they skin their knee or something and you don't want that to spoil their their trip or their 
their their meal or something so you know you just take care of it move on and keep having fun that's what i'm talking about so anyways it's always good to keep a first aid kit in your car and keep some essentials in it i'll put links under the video in the description to everything you see right here look at this and i'm snapping comes right off look at that awesome this is like even has a little handle here beep, 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 beep. but anyways uh you know uh it's pretty cool see and there's still tons of room in here to overstuff it you can put oh and also put some advil or some tylenol in there whatever your preference is um you know just in case if you uh you know keep the inflammation down in case you uh, sprain your ankle or something like that but you know it's just best to keep keep whatever you like to keep you happy you know and keep you going when you're out there doing stuff so there you have it so i hope you like my video on the first aid bag that you can put behind the headrest on your car or in the trunk of your car or anywhere i think everyone should have one in their car so hope you liked the video if you would please subscribe please hit the thumbs up button and please comment let me know what you keep in your car or if you keep anything or if you don't care or better yet if you have a story about yourself or somebody you know getting hurt while you were out on some adventure that'd be cool to hear so so anyways i just wanted to share that with you stay tuned i do have more videos i've got a couple of vehicles now i'm trying to rotate out i do have some more videos on the tundra and uh and we will see you next time see ya Thank you.